Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do a battery replacement on your Lenovo Yoga 6 laptop. So if you have the same Yoga laptop as I do here, maybe a different color, you can follow along the video and get your battery replaced. So what are the signs of the computers uh, that you need a battery replacement? More likely, if you feel like your touchpad here has a lump, or feel like bulging, right? Or maybe the keyboard is not working correctly, especially by the space bar here, or the clicking part, then more likely it would be the battery problem. And of course, if the battery is not holding the charge, then that is indicator of the battery that is time for a replacement. All right, so let's turn it around. Take a closer look here, identify your model. It says Yoga 6, 13ALC6, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to have would be the T5 screwdriver. If you're not sure where to buy the tools and the replacement part, please feel free to check down in the link description below. I will direct you to the right place, either to Amazon or eBay, where you can find the replacement part and the tools for this repair. All right, let's go ahead and remove all the screws here. There will be six screws in total, three on each side of the laptop. So get a T5 screwdriver and remove all that screws. Once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover here. You can get yourself a plastic prying tool or something that is easily get in between the cover and then just pry it up a little bit a few click and remove the entire back cover at this point here you can see the entire battery is is down here below i was telling you if the battery is bad it would push us at the inside out to your touchpad okay so the next step is to go ahead and disconnect the battery connector. You see this little black black connector here? All you have to do is slide it down. So what I did, I used my fingernail, get in between the two sides of the black connector and slide it down towards my body and I just removed the connector of the battery. Okay, so that would be the battery connector. Now the next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. This is a Phillips PH1. We are going to remove the screw. I just removed four screws and the, oh sorry, five screws. And the battery would just slide right out if you're not sure where to buy the battery look up for the model here l19c 4p d1 and again i'll link them down in the description below where you can find the replacement part so if a battery feel like a lump bulging swollen then that is time for replacement that's pretty much it so these are the rest of the cpu the heatsink the fan and whatnot okay and the um, m.2 nvme drive is here if you want to upgrade i made a separate video for that please go ahead and go check it out and again um, let's just say the new battery comes in it's very straightforward all you have to do is just to do the reverse process install all the screws install the connector get the back plate cover back on it and put all the screws back in and that should do it all right if you find this video is helpful please smash the like button for me uh, before you go subscribe and until next time i'll see you again bye now